I'm, I'm serious about this. I forgot that Dragon Ball Daima is about to drop this year. <sighs> and let me tell you again. Let me say this again and again until you guys listen to me in the video. Without Akira Sensei, Dragon Ball Daima is officially non canyon It is not approved by Akira Sensei. Since he's gone, it is non canyon it's not worth your time, your your attention to this garbage Dragon Ball Daima 40th anniversary, which is this. Look at this is literally non-canyon. Every characters that you see, the timeline is non-canyon. Just move on already. Stop obsessing to to you to your sensei. Okay, keep his name out of your fucking mouth. I don't even know what this cater towards. But this is weird. I looked up on the internet saying that Dragon Ball Daima's timeline take it takes place right after the Buu Saga. Then all the way through the introduction to Beerus. The Beerus Saga. Or whatever the, f whatever the fuck that saga is called. So what's the point of this timeline? What is this supposed to, to show before the introduction to Beerus? What is this? What is this nonsense? story is going to suck the characters developments and everyone that you see in dragon ball daima feels like you're watching dragon ball heroes dragon ball superheroes literally dragon ball heroes that's it so the story will not make sense literally it's going to be stories non-canyon characters are non-canyon the character development and everything that you see on this show all this entertainment all these corny cuts uh corny scenes they're all non canyons and watch mark my words they're gonna be fan service on this and you know how this is gonna go down with these type of young youngling shit being added to this show so what's the point of dragon ball daima it's just just garbage just move on already just move on for akira sensei okay he does not pr approve dragon ball daima i guess he does or i don't know I, he's gone already so move on